In this video, we talk about troubleshooting VLAN and VLAN chunks. Let's now get into the basic configuration of this network. As you can see, switch 1 and switch 2 are connected together via a chunk link and switch 2 is connected to router 1 via a chunk link. PC1 and PC3 are in VLAN 10. PC2 and PC4 are in VLAN 20. Now let's get right into the first problem. In the first problem, PC1 cannot send or receive any packets. Let's figure it out. From the network diagram, we know that PC1 is connected to switch 1 via the port. E02 and the port E02 must belong to VLAN 10. Let's issue the command show VLAN on switch 1. As you can see, VLAN 10 doesn't exist and the port E02 doesn't exist either. So it must be that the port E02 have been assigned to VLAN 10, but VLAN 10 was deleted. Let's recreate the VLAN 10. We need to go to the configuration mode and then we easy the command VLAN 10. Now X out this and show VLAN again. As you can see VLAN 10 is now shown up and the status is active and the port E02 was automatically reassigned to VLAN 10. So PC1 must be able to send and receive any packets now. The next problem is that PC2 cannot send or receive any packets. Let's troubleshoot the issue. From the network diagram, we know that PC2 is connected to switch 1 via the port E03 and the port E03 must belong to VLAN 20. Let's issue the command show VLAN on switch 1. As you can see, VLAN 20 shown up and the port E03 is assigned to VLAN 20. However, the status of VLAN 20 is now shut down. So it must be that someone have just shut down the VLAN 20. Let's re-enable it. We need to go to the configuration mode and go to VLAN 20 and issue the command no shut then hit enter. Now I X out this and show VLAN again. As you can see, the status of VLAN 20 now is active, so PC2 must be able to send and receive any packets now. Let's work on the next problem. In this problem, PC1 cannot send or receive any packets with PC3, and PC2 cannot send or receive any packets with PC4. So it must be the problem with the chunk link. Let's find out. To troubleshoot this issue, we first need to verify if there is any active chunk link on switch 1. In order to do that, let's issue the command show interface chunk. As you can see, there is no active chunk link on switch 1. Let's now verify the port E01 because this port is supposed to be the chunk port. Let's issue the command show run and then we filter out for the port E01. As you can see, the port E01 has not been fully configured as a chunk port. Let's configure it. We need to go to the configuration mode and go to the port E01 and then we need to force it as a chunk port by issuing the command switch port mode chunk. 
now let's exit out of this and show interface chunk as you can see the port E01 now is a chunk port with the encapsulation 802.1Q and it allow VLAN 1, 10 and 20 to go across the chunk link so PC1 must be able to communicate with PC3 and PC2 must be able to communicate with PC4 now in this problem PC1 cannot send or receive any packets with PC3 however PC2 can communicate with PC4 normally so it must be a problem with the chunk link let's verify it to troubleshoot this issue let's verify the chunk configuration by issuing the command show interface chunk as you can see the port E01 on switch 1 is a chunk port however it only allows the VLAN 1 and VLAN 20 to go across the chunk that is the reason why PC1 cannot send or receive any packets with PC3 let's fix this first we need to go to the configuration mode and then go to the port E01 and we must allow the VLAN 10 to go across the chunk link in order to do that we need to issue the command switch port chunk and then question marks and then to allow we need to issue the command allowed and then let's put in a question mark we need to specify the VLAN let's put in a question mark as you can see we can specify VLAN 10 in this case however to be on the safe side we just specify all to allow for all VLANs so we don't have this issue in the future let's exit out of this and show interface chunk again as you can see now the chunk port E01 allow VLAN 1, 10 and 20 to go across the chunk link so PC1 must be able to send or receive packets with PC3 now this problem has the same symptom as the previous problem where PC1 cannot send or receive any packets with PC3 and PC2 can communicate with PC4 normally so let's verify the chunk link again let's verify the chunk configuration on switch 1 again as you can see port E01 is a chunk port and it allows VLAN 1, 10 and 20 to go across the chunk however you may notice that the native VLAN is VLAN 10 let's verify the configuration on switch 2 as you can see in switch 2 we see the notification message that the native VLAN mismatch let's verify the native VLAN on switch 2 show interface chunk let's pay attention to the port E02 which is the port that is connected to switch 1 and it has the native VLAN is 1 let's fix the native VLAN on switch 1 let's go to the configuration mode and go to the port E01 and we issue the command as you can see uh, now we also see the notification message that native VLAN mismatch on switch 1 to fix this issue let's 
issue the command switch port chunk native and then we need to specify the keyword VLAN and then we put VLAN 1 as the native VLAN to match with the Cisco skill switch 2 Example of this and show interface chunk again now the native VLAN on switch 1 on this chunk is VLAN 1 so PC1 must be able to send and receive any package with PC3 now. In this problem, PC1 and PC3 cannot communicate with PC2 or PC4. So this is an inter-VLAN communication problem. For example, in order for PC1 to communicate with PC2, it has to go to the router and the router will forward the packets from PC1 to PC2 like this. So to troubleshoot this issue, let's verify the configuration on router 1. Let's verify the IP configuration on router 1 by issuing the command show IP interface brief. As you can see, all the interfaces have not been assigned with any IP address and the status of all interfaces are down. To fix this issue, we first need to bring the interface E20 up because this interface is connected to the port E00 on Swiss 2. In order to do that, we need to go to the configuration mode and go to the interface E20 and issue the command no shut and X out this and as you can see it bring up the interface and also the live protocol on the interface is to zero now change that to up let's create the sub interface for vlan 10 by issuing the command interface is to zero dot 10 dot 10 to specify that we are configuring for vlan 10 but it's doesn't mean that it configure for VLAN 10 until we specify the detailed configuration in the encapsulation command. So we need to issue the command encapsulation dot one q and 10. The 10 here is decide that we configure it for VLAN 10. Now we need to assign the IP address for this sub interface IP address 10.0.10.10 .10 and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and we also issue the command no shut and X out this and we now create the sub interface for VLAN 20 by issuing the command interface e20.20 and then we specify the encapsulation dot one q for vlan 20 and then we also assign the ip address 10.0.20.10 with subnet mask 255.255.255 255.0 and then X out this and show IP interface brief. As you can see, the two sub interface for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 has been created and it assigned with the correct IP address and their status are up. To verify our configuration from PC1 in VLAN 10, we ping PC3 in VLAN 10. Then from PC1, 
we ping the default gateway of VLAN 10 which is 10.0.10.10 .10. then from PC1 we ping PC2 as you know PC2 is in VLAN 20 so it has to travel via the default gateway to reach to PC2 let's do it first we need to ping PC3 ping 10.0.10.3 as you can see it replies now let's ping the default gateway by pinging 10.0.10.10 .10 and we see it replies now let's ping PC2 ping 10.0.20.2 and we see it's time out and then reply the reason for it's being time out is because PC1 have to find the MAC address for PC2 but in this case PC2 is in a different subnet so it has to find the MAC address of its default gateway which is the MAC address associated with this IP 10.0.10.10 .10 .10. that's why we see the timeout over here